All right, so in this equation, I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to 72. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. So now for the solution part, What I'm first gonna do is rewrite my equation down here so I have more space. So I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to 72. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite four as two squared. So now I get two to the power of x plus two squared to the power of x is equal to 72. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. However, a to the power of m times n is also the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Now, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m should equal a to the power of n to the power of n. So, to, in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So now knowing this, I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 72, and I can switch the places of 2 and x. So now I get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 72. Now from here, I'm going to let... 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I get y plus y squared is equal to 72. Now, if I subtract 72 on both sides and rearrange this, I get y squared plus y minus 72 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation, meaning I can solve this using the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, a in this case is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 72. So I get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 72, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 288 over 2. And this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 289 over 2. Now the square root of 289 is equal to 17. So I get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 17 over 2. And this gives me two solutions. I get y is equal to negative 1 plus 17 over 2. And y is equal to negative 1 minus 17 over 2. So negative 1 plus 17 is 16, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I get y equals 8, and negative 1 minus 17 is negative 18, and negative 18 over 2 is negative 9. So I get y equals negative 9. Now, going back, remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So this gives me two equations. I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 8, and 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 9. So we can automatically cancel this equation out because a positive number can't take a power of another number and make, and make that equal negative. So 2 to the power of x equals 8 is my only remaining solution, and this means that x equals 3 because 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. So now to check, my original equation was 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 72. So if x equals 3, I get 8 plus 64 is equal to 72. 
and 72 is equal to 72.